let me show you how to do webinars, Facebook Lives, YouTube Lives, and interviews online the best and easiest way. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna use Zoom, which is what I'm using right now, to record this, and then I'll show you how we've been running it. This is Tristan Almada, and I'm Gryffindor, just in case you were wondering. I also run the largest community of real estate agents in the world. So we do a webinar a day almost, and let's get right into it. So I've been using Zoom for over three years now, and we were using BlueJeans first, and then before that we were using Google Hangouts, and we've even used BeLive.tv as well. Nothing wrong with any of those, we just feel that Zoom gives us more options and it's a lot cleaner. Uh, we run a lot of our podcasts with it because it records our audio and we definitely run our webinars and our when it's uh, when we run them it's recorded and then we upload them into YouTube. So let's get started. I want to show you your options that you have been getting quite a few great questions as to how people can share into Facebook Live, into YouTube, how to interview people online, how to have meetings, all this good stuff. So let's get right into it. Go to zoom.us and it will take you to their main page. This is their pricing page. You can see plan and pricing is right here. I simply clicked on it and it took us to the different options that you have. They have a free basic version which hosts up to 100 participants, kind of like a meeting style, not bad. Uh, I would recommend going with the pro or higher only because the meetings can, can go for uh, up to 24 hours, which is great. Also gives you some other basic features as well, which I'm gonna show you. Uh, but as you scroll down, you see you've got basic, pro, business, enterprise, what we have, we don't have the Zoom phone, but we do have this. We have video webinar. And originally when we started this, we would have our webinars go a thousand plus, sometimes uh, 500, sometimes 700. But we capped ours at about a thousand. You can go up to 10,000, but it gets kind of pricey too. And so we thought, you know, let's keep our webinars at about a thousand. The beautiful part about it, and I'm going to show you as we get into this, is that it also allows you to throw it onto Facebook Live or YouTube Live. Now, that capability is also over here with meetings, but you have to pay for the pro version as well. This way, at least you can, you can do that. And when you throw it onto Facebook Live or YouTube Live, obviously anyone can watch. You don't have a seat limit like you do with this, um, the webinars. So let me log in here so I can show you, maybe I have it on here, good. All right, so let's just take a look at what we've got on our Zoom. So you can take a look at the possibilities. Now, you can see here, that's me, that's Lab Code Agents, and we've got the webinar portion. The meeting goes up to uh, 300, webinar goes up to 1,000. And here, you can see our webinars. These are the webinars that we've got lined up. So. You, you get to see, uh, we've got uh, one with Ryan Serhant coming up on Tuesday morning, and we can go in here, and the beautiful thing about this is you can enable the practice session. So if you start a webinar, you go in, and you can run any, any uh, process that you want to do before you get started, checking your mic, checking your video, make sure that the panelists who come in understand how to work with Zoom and so forth. This way, uh, the process is a lot smoother when it starts. Now, you can also invite panelists right here. You can just click edit and then you can start adding panelists. Let's, uh, let's invite Nick Baldwin, my business partner. There it is. I'm gonna save and send it and I'll send over an email to Ryan Serhant later today. Now, here you have some email settings, which is kind of cool here. You can, you have the invitation to, to the panelists, which you saw a confirmation email to registrants, which is something that we like. As soon as they register, they get a confirmation email saying, hey, you are now part of this webinar. And an hour before it starts, they're also going to get an email, which is an awesome thing. We also get to see everyone that attended and everyone that signed up. So we have that email list as well. We can export into our newsletter campaign branding you can see we can add this to the part of the newsletter the part of the registration page that we want we can change it 
change it up. We also have our logo that appears uh, uh, during the, the actual live that we're doing the webinar. We can have polls that are running, Q&A, and any integration that you think is good, maybe integrate with, uh, with a different streaming service. Now, we don't. Uh, we just stick with Facebook Live and YouTube. We don't even use Facebook Workplace, as you can see there. But what you can also do is do what I'm doing right now, which is recording a video. And I did it through meetings. So let's say I want to schedule a meeting right now, which is what I did. Change the meeting. Leave it. Leave it as my meeting. Just testing. You can leave the time. Now you have some options. Turn the video on automatically for the host and on automatically for participants. Now, let me tell you a story here. You want to probably leave this off for participants. Some participants come in and they don't know they have the video camera on. The very first time I tested this out, I think it was second maybe, second time, we had over 100 people on and their camera was on. And when they came on, I had, this is about two and a half, three years ago. I had a couple of people that were sitting in the bathroom while watching the webinar as part of a meeting. And so I now leave the participant camera off and I give them the ability to turn it on or off. Just know that, all right? Now, obviously I showed you that we enable the, the, uh, the join before the host. We can have that, that way they don't have to wait around if they're part of a meeting. They could just go right into it and then just wait for us there as well. Uh, now, now that I saved it, I can go ahead and now it's my meeting. Here it is testing. I can go ahead and start this, but then it would start another one. It would cut off what I'm doing. But right here, you see, I can copy paste this URL link and then send it over to whoever I want. Let's just say I've got this link. It's actually going to start it off, but we don't want to do that. So let's go back to this one. I'm going to copy this or I can just click this over here and then copy this whole invitation. I just want to copy the link. It's much easier. Let me show you what I typically do. I just go over to, let me stop sharing this and share my texting section. See over here, I'm going to share with you my texts. Now I'm going to text it to myself. Let's say I was texting it to my friend. I would just click on that. Now, as soon as I'm done, they can join directly from the text. You can send it through WhatsApp. You can send it through wherever, Messenger. That's how we typically get people to jump on that need to be on quickly, if it's for the team, if it's for a webinar. So let me show you then how to play it into Facebook Live or YouTube Live. Now, as you're watching this, there's an option from our screen here at the bottom right, which unfortunately you can't see, but um, as you're the, you're the person that's hosting this, on the bottom right, you're gonna see three dots and it says more. Um, there's also a whole bunch of other ones, invite, manage participants, polling, share. You can share this, you can share your screen with people. You can watch the chat if people are, are in the webinar or in the meeting. People can chat back and forth, share files, share anything you want. You can invite people on here and we can have two people at a time. Uh, now you can have three, four, five, a few people. You can have a party here all virtually. Uh, you can also have breakout rooms and I can stop recording and start recording whenever I want. This can either record on your desktop or it can record onto the cloud. We choose to record everything to the cloud because we have a virtual assistant who then takes it down. His name is Billy and he then edits it and uploads it into YouTube and then makes it even more magnificent. So now the bottom right, there's a little section that says more with three dots. We're gonna click on that. Then it gives you three options. It says live on Facebook, live on Workplace by Facebook, or live on YouTube. Now I'm gonna show you what we do when we go live on Facebook. A screen pops up, it says, okay, so where do we go live on Facebook? Let me see if I can share this with you so you can follow along here. I'm going to, there we go, perfect. You see here where it says, uh, go live on Facebook, choose where you want to post your video. Now you can post it directly into the group, but what I choose to do instead, only because we put some money behind it, is choose to go to the Facebook page. So I found my Facebook page there. There's Lab Code Agents. Now, once I'm running it here, I can share it into a group. I can share it into wherever I want. And I'll show you how to do that. I'll even do a uh, watch party as well to get more people watching. So here, I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And... 
it's going to then take me to the screen where it's going to say, okay, great. Now, what title do you want? And it's going to give me the details for streaming and it's going to give me the details to uh, also sharing it in the group at the same time. Okay. The section that you have to pay attention to here is on the right. Just make sure to put the title in uh, testing out Zoom as I'm doing a YouTube video, right? There you go. Now, title, my title is going to be, uh, you could just copy the body, really. It was short enough. And the cool thing is you can tag it. Uh, let's tag it as marketing, right? Uh, that's not there. You could just leave it. Well, you know what? Let's leave that off, but it's marketing. Share in your groups now. I'm going to share it into LabCode Agents as well. So I can share it into the group and also into the page. And I showed you, I want to share it into the page because it'll make sense after I'm done. I'll take you through that as well. Now I'm going to go live and it's going to tell me on my main screen that I'm going live already, which is an awesome thing. So as you can see right here, it's taking me live on my main screen on YouTube, on, uh, on Zoom, it's already showing that I'm live. So let's go find the page here so you can take a look at it. Hey guys, for those of you that are joining me in, I'm testing this out. Here you can see live. I'm testing Zoom out so I can do a video for all of you so you can learn how to use Zoom a lot better. We have one person watching here on our business page. Now, as I open the business page up here, you're gonna be able to see that I'm also gonna share it into the Facebook group. Now, I already did that one time, but it's sharing into the page. So here we go. We have 11 people watching on our business page. Now from here, I'm gonna share it into the Facebook group. This way we get more people to watch. We have two options. We can share it so you can actually share this section or we can start a watch party. Now, I'd rather start a watch party to start because it'll instantly bring in everybody who typically watches all of our lives. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a watch party. Click it. Now make sure you don't leave it on your timeline. You want to change it to the group that you want to share it into. I want to share it into LabCode Agents. Now that's the title and we're going to go now see what happens here. It's going to take me, you've got to mute it really quick because it goes, it goes into audio. Audio turns on automatically. Now you start seeing everybody joining and then you also see them on the right here as well. Now you can start commenting and saying hello to people. You can also add a co-host and you can also start adding more people as well. So you hear the invite button, right? I'm gonna start inviting everybody that usually enjoys watching all of our videos. Hey, for everybody joining us, I'm running a video on showing people how to use Zoom and how to get the most out of it. So you'll see the video in the next uh, couple of days. So now that I'm done here, now I can go back to the main Facebook page and then start answering questions. Now I'm running the webinar, I'm interviewing whoever I'm interviewing, and we can go on from there. Now I'm going to stop the share button. I'm also, I can stop the live at any time as well. You can see the live is on the top left. And so I'm going to go ahead and stop the live stream. But as we start doing this more and more, you get more comfortable with it. You can bring in more people once you've done it. And that's how we share it into Facebook Live. You can also do the exact same thing and share it into YouTube. Now, YouTube Live is, um, we don't get as many people on YouTube Live only because most of our followers are on Facebook. But if you have a lot of followers on YouTube, you could definitely go that route as well. Just as easy. The process is super simple. And uh, the only thing is you can't do a, a watch party on YouTube. So people, we get a lot less people watching there in the first place. And so now when it comes to you being able to run this, uh, this video off of Zoom, you'll also have some options as you're doing this. Some of those options come in the form of changing your background or adding certain things that, that uh, or taking away certain um, power from the people that are watching. So your panelist, you can mute your panelist. You can also change your panelist to attendee. Some of the attendees, which you can see, you will see on the right as they're attending here. Let's say we had a hundred people. I can mute all of them. I can choose which one can speak and you can, they have the capabilities of chatting and asking questions. And also you have the op opportunity to run a poll. 
and they can answer the poll. Now, the cool thing is this, you can be very interactive with Zoom because as people are raising their hand, because there's a little hand raising button, or as they're chatting, if they have a specific question, you can actually give them the opportunity to talk and you can hear them. You can say, hey, have this attendee be able to talk and ask a question, or you can bring them in as a panelist turn on their camera and now they're on with you asking the question live or asking the question with whoever you're interviewing to. That's one part that I love about Zoom and they also allow you, let me see if I can do it here, they also allow you to, um, to change the background as well. So I can change my background. Right now my background's all uh, cluttered so it won't be as as nice, but what you can do is change virtual backgrounds. Let me see if I can add one. Might not work as well because my background's already cluttered, but let's try it. So you see how my arm's a little bit off there, but it changes and you can have background be San Francisco. You can be grass. Um, you, you can even have a green screen and run whatever you're running. Uh, I usually leave it blank only because my background's already, like I said, a little cluttered uh, with, with things. So I leave it like that. And you can also do that as well. And so those are really the basics of how you would use it. You can then grow from there and start using it in lots of different ways. Very powerful, extremely powerful tool. You can have, uh, you can host parties, virtual parties. You can host events like we've done in the past. And the most important thing to us is you can run the Facebook Live or YouTube Live to be able to reach more people and then it's recorded. Just make sure that once you do this, you do record it and then you download it and you use it in YouTube. You use it in other places as well. Thanks for joining me. Again, this is Tristan and I appreciate you. Please hit subscribe. I'm trying to grow my, my following. We're, uh, we're slowly creeping up. I need you. Please.